Tantor with a recap of Atlanta United's disgusting loss at Columbus, one to six. And when you get beat six goals to one, well, it usually is disgusting. So we'll just look at it this way. Every player that stepped onto the pitch, whether it was a starter, whether or not it was a guy off the bench, you get an F because the effort wasn't there. The coach gets an F minus because he put you out there and didn't inspire any more effort than what was given. It was just disgusting. Uh, granted, we were missing Georges, we were missing Almada, we were missing Miles, plus we were missing our, our best reserves. That doesn't matter. The players that are out there are professionals and they're supposed to put forth a professional effort and that did not happen at all. Atlanta United was completely outplayed by Columbus from the very beginning to the very end. It all comes down to uh, effort and pride, and there wasn't any showing. Goalkeeping was horrendous. Defense was offensive. Midfield was just disgustingly bad. And offense was non-existent. Um, so it was just uh, very frustrating to watch. It was a waste of time, quite frankly. And yeah, getting back our players, hopefully that helps, but uh, some guys have to have a pride. With the one exception, one goal, one goal was on a corner on a free header. The other five goals went like this. Gutman, Wiley, or Lennon, beaten down the outside. Cross to an unmarked striker who calmly puts it into the back of the net. That's it. That's every play. Midfield, they didn't mark anybody. Two center defenders, they didn't mark anybody. Backside defender, why should they mark anybody? <laughs> You've got Guzan. He was just standing there watching the ball go by him. So it was pretty horrible, um, you know, singling out one guy like Arahu for lack of effort and quitting and within five minutes of the match, getting frustrated and not doing anything. Or Guzan constantly putting his defenders under pressure with some horrible passing playing out of the back. Um, Guzan, you know, he had uh, nine turnovers himself, and it was miserable. Uh, it, there's nothing to do. There's nothing good to say about this match. Only thing you can do is just burn it and get ready next week for New York Red Bull. And that's really all you can say. And, you know, I do my own stats, but why bother this game? Uh, Columbus dominated in every fashion. Columbus had 15 shots on goal. Well, 15 shots. Atlanta United... I know the official stat says two. I had him down as one on Lennon's goal in the 70th minute, which was a ball that just rolled through and Lennon happened to be standing there, hit it, and it was deflected and goes in. That's it. That's I only shot the entire match. That's how bad we played. So continue to play this bad, we're going to lose. I thought coming into this match, we were undermanned. We would play for a draw. Pfft, draw. And we got ran out of town. So... Horrible. Nothing good to say about this team this week. We go from the perfect match last week to the worst match they've played in a couple of years. And it's not even close. Doesn't even look like the same team, except for they were wearing that crap green road uniform. And whenever you don't look good, you can't play good. So, hey, we'll blame it on the unis, all right? Uh, hopefully next week uh, they'll start playing and, and want to put forth an effort. So we'll see you next week.